Ooh, I've been looking forward to this for so, so long. This is the review of the movie Black Panther. I watched it last night. Um, I wanted to do like a quick reaction video, but I said, you know what? Let me stop. Let me just let it soak in and let me just do it the next day so that way I can have it out to you guys because this is a movie that's been highly, highly anticipated. Um, this is a movie I've been looking forward to from last year, uh, from the first time I've seen the trailer and I couldn't wait to go see it. So I finally seen it and I wanna be able to talk to you guys about the movie. Now, this is not a perfect movie, all right? It has its pros and its cons. And one thing I've noticed or what I've been seeing is that a lot of people are kind of a bit afraid to talk about this movie or critique this movie uh, because of the strong backing from um, certain communities, particularly uh, the black community. And people are afraid that if they say anything negative about this movie, that they're going to be labeled a coon or racist or something like that. And look, before I get into it, let me just let you guys know um, right away. This movie did not push any type of agenda. Um, I don't feel like it was one of those movies. If you're going into this expecting that there's going to be this movement of, you know, we need to overtake this, you know, the community and take back this and take back that. You're not going to that. That's not what it is. This is entertainment. It is a movie. Um, I think it's a movie that, you know, obviously black people can go see, but also white people can go see and Asians and Koreans and Chinese or whatever. If you are into Marvel, if you are into comics or these type of movies, superhero movies, this is no different. <laughs> OK, you're going to enjoy this as well. Um, so there wasn't a huge political agenda here. Now, like with most movies, right, if you watch critically, right, there are messages in the movie. Um, but again, that depends on how deep you look into movies. Now, I really love watching movies and I kind of look for those messages. So there are some things in there that you can take away. Uh, but this is not something that is you have to feel like you're sitting there and you're just kind of being talked down to. That's not what this movie is. OK, it's it's a phenomenal, phenomenal movie. Um, personally, for me, the reason why I really look forward to it is because one, um, I think anytime you have a majority, majority African-American or black cast that um, there's an expectation because usually when you see movies like this, they usually don't depict African-Americans or black people. And I use this for black people because black is a color and it's not a culture. And that's a movie for another day. But anyway, um, back to this. So. A lot of times when you see movies, we're not really depicted in a positive way. All right. It usually has something to do with gangs or drugs or um, just being marginalized or some form of racism is happening or slavery or we're just we're not shown in a light where there's actual leadership, where there's actual culture, where there is a ruling class mentality. And, <laughs> you know, and again, we're not shown where. You know, the men have to be dressed up as women or wearing women's clothes or men have to kiss other men or anything like that. Like, it's just this is one of those movies where I for me, I look at it and I say it's phenomenal to see all these actors um, get together, do a great movie. Um, and so this way it could kind of hopefully hopefully set the stage for that. You know what? You don't have to make every single movie that is majority black to be basically nonsense, okay? Where the women are just running around reckless and the guys are just running around reckless. Like it just it doesn't have to be that way. So let's get into the review. Now, Black Panther has been around since 1966. Just a little bit of backstory. Stan Lee was one of the uh, originators of the movie, uh, not the movie, of the comic, right? And so um, here we are today. Now this movie, Black Panther, uh, just a little bit more backstory. It's not connected to the Black Panther group. OK, so if you do do your history around that it is there's no real connection with that. It was once called the Black Leopard. And if you know anything about the Black Panther, there's no such thing as a Black Panther. It is simply a leopard that is just overly melanated. And so you find these um, cats 
in Asia or uh, Africa and places like that. So here we are today. Now, Chadwick Boseman did a phenomenal job. However, his character, um, what you'll find in this movie is that he, this is more like your Thor, your first Thor or your Batman Begins. You know, this is like a introduction to Black Panther. So therefore, he didn't really stick out for me. OK, a lot of the other supporting actors really, really stuck out. He was sort of like still finding himself. So you're not going to see him really get to that point that you want him to get to. Or you want the majority of the movie of him being at that point where he knows what his his goal is, his agenda is. He, you're watching this movie and you're kind of it, it's kind of showing you that he he's not really there yet. Okay, so that's one thing about it. Um, but overall, guys, here's a couple positive things. Um, the visuals was phenomenal. The colors phenomenal. Um, just the whole scenery. This everybody looked vibrant. Everything on the screen just looked eye popping. The soundtrack was phenomenal. The music that they use at the right times was was amazing. Um, also, the storylines, like the character development, like I can't stress this enough. Character development is so important, right? But the downside is, is that when you have too many characters that you're trying to like develop and, and show a backstory on, is that um, it, it could drag a bit, which is a con that I have with the movie is that you do have moments in the movie where just like every movie has its ups and downs where it, you just felt like, when is it going to pick up again? You know, so being that this is a movie that's over two hours, you sort of feel it, you know, when it's going on 30, 40 minutes where it's like nothing really is happening yet, but it's still kind of like a lot of talk back and forth. Um, you could tell like they just it was just a real down moment and then it starts to pick back up again, it starts to rev up. And so there is that. All right. That's an issue. But again, some of the uh, supporting actors, I mean, Michael B. Jordan did a phenomenal job with Killmonger. Uh, he I mean, he really, really good job. I wish I could have seen more of him. Right. And that's that's um, again, he kind of came in the beginning and it's like, oh, awesome. And then he kind of disappears and then he picks back up. You know, so a little bit of inconsistencies there. Um, also, uh, the sister for I think her name is Lapita, La Latita. Um, I think it's Latita. Uh, she she plays the sister who's basically the sister of Black Panther and basically is like the one who's in control of all the technology. Um, she she stole the show, in my opinion. She practically stole the show. Uh, she did a phenomenal job. Uh, who else you have in there? Angela Bassett, obviously, plays the mother. She did a great job. Classic actress. Um, you also have um, you also have Lupita, uh, which is the uh, you know his love interest in the movie. She did a great job. And then also the lady who was in Walking Dead. I cannot remember her name. Um, she's in Walking Dead. She's the black lady with the dreads, and she she always carries the stick. Um, she, she played one of the bodyguards. She was also phenomenal. She had a great, she did a great thing, a great job. The guy who was also in Get Out, um, he did a great job as well. There was a lot of people who just did a phenomenal job developing their characters. You could tell they were really invested in their characters and it showed. And so that is a positive, positive, I mean, just awesome. I, I, I can't, I can't stress it enough. Now, um, another thing, too, that I didn't like about it is I felt like Black Panther's costume was a bit basic, um, you know, the, how it was before, because they, they change it during the movie. And I felt like what it was before had more detail in the suit and he just looked better. Um, so that's just something that I kind of observed. Um, and then another thing is, is that a lot of the action scenes, like some of it you could tell was sort of green screen. And it was hard to keep up with the action because stuff was just going, it was just moving too fast. When I felt like it really wasn't necessary because uh, they do have some scenes where they're just outright fighting. And I feel like that was enough. Like that was good. Like you didn't have to get into the whole 3D. It just, it just kind of took it away where you're just kind of looking at it. And you're just like, eh, it looks a bit fake to me. Like why, like, was that really necessary? I could have just fought it out. Like, I don't know. Uh, it was, it was a little bit. I wasn't feeling that. Um, so aside from that, guys, I mean, there's not 
much negative I could say about this movie. I mean, this movie, I give it a four out of five. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal movie. Um, has a lot of meaning to it. Um, they did a great job of just bringing this comic to life. And it's something that you can enjoy regardless of race, regardless of age. You know, you can bring kids to go see it. It, it was just amazing because you felt for the villain as well as you felt for um, Black Panther, but you, you're gonna feel more for Michael B. Jordan. And so um, his character, Killmonger. And so it's one of those kind of movies, guys. It's definitely one of those kind of movies. Definitely, to me, lives up to the hype. Um, but with that being said, I will end this video with this and just say that we can't, as I'm speaking as a black person, right? As an African-American, as a Haitian descent, I mean, I'm just saying to the community is that we can't look to movies to um, galvanize us, right? And, and to rev us up and to feel like there's a sense of accomplishment there. You have to develop accomplishment in your life. You, you, you can't just look to movies. You have to treat yourself as a king. You have to treat, you know, your lady as a queen. You have to carry yourself a certain way in order to be viewed and treated a certain way. And we can't just look to movies to be our defining moment, all right? You gotta have a self-esteem to where you want to develop and have that mindset that you should have, which is a ruling class mindset, you know, and be able to develop a culture. You know, I think that that's something that we need to start looking at ourselves in a positive light and not just rely on movies in order to do so. So definitely enjoy the movie. Um, it's well worth the price. Um, I can't wait for it to come out in DVD. So four out of five stars, guys. It's your boy Bill for anything. Peace and love. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.